Okay, welcome to this walkthrough of the Fate of Boulder. I've just uh, started the lobby here, together with uh, two of my colleagues, Dockers and Vasily. We are all uh, developers of this game. So here in the lobby you can change uh, between four different classes. You have the Berserker, it's a shotgun, air jetpack. Looks to get up close and shoot the enemies. You have the Hild class, has his sniper rifle, the snake-ish jetpack. Uh, you have the Needinger. He's got the uh, rifle. It's a horse rifle. It's like a cannon. Shoot a lot of bullets. And uh, like a rat jetpack. This meter. He's got his rocket. And his uh, eagle jetpack. Let's just jump into the game. Midgar Moon. That's our first planet. I should just quickly turn on the tutorial explains everything to us this is a tower defense game enemies will come down the path and try to destroy your viking ship so this is the viking ship here I've pinged it for my colleagues to see here I have to defend this one cannot harm it but the enemies can so, oh, let's follow the tutorial. You can open the map by pressing tab. Here you can see uh, different places. You can see these circles over here. This is where I can build my towers. And you have resources around the map. Use the jetpack to reach higher grounds. You can uh, hold space. Jetpack. Get on top of this uh, mushroom here. You can change weapons. You see to the lower right corner of my screen, I have a limited amount of bullets. Only two rockets in my rocket launcher, so I can change the axe for melee combat. Now, my task is to destroy a node. Gain some extra resources. You can see on the left side of the screen shows all my resources, which is the Moonstone resource. I will need that to build some powers. The next step is to build a tower. Let's press E near this uh, building platform here. Let's see our options. Now we only have the cannon here. It deals physical damage. In this game you have two different types of damage. You have the physical damage, uh, does a lot of damage health. And you have arcane damage, which is uh, good against shields, shielded enemies. So if we take a look at the tower we've just built, you can see this yellow line here represents how far you can shoot. You also have the rate of fire and uh, you have the range indicator here. Uh, you can do some stuff with the tower, you can repair it if the enemy has, the, has uh, uh, damaged it. You can boost the tower to increase its rate of fire, or you can destroy the tower if you want to build another one. It's dead. Okay. The tutorial says that the enemies grow stronger the longer you wait, then we have to press Q. To, uh, get this game started. I'm jumping in with my melee axe. I'll rather try the rocket launcher. Yeah, that uh, is much more effective. Unfortunately, I don't have an unlimited uh, amount of rockets here. With six left. Okay, hold the button to quickly teleport to the ship. You can see here near the ship, you also get this uh, healing uh, buff. So 
but if you take an injury, you take damage, uh, you can go back and heal whenever you want to. After each wave, there spawns a uh, resource crate here to help us with our uh, ammunition. I now have six, I now have seven rockets. And you see to the top left corner, there's a full, full energy bar symbol. I can choose between these four different upgradable items. I can choose to upgrade my melee weapon damage, upgrade the range weapon damage, uh, I can upgrade the speed, or I can upgrade the max health. This is something that is shared among the players. So I can upgrade this one. Maybe like Vasily here upgraded health one. see on the lower left side of my screen I have the red health bar that just increased as uh, Vasily upgraded that you also see the yellow bar that's the jetpack fuel so you can't reach the sky even though you try to do that once it's depleted you fall down okay we finished the tutorial but it says in the top right corner, we're on wave 1 of 5, let's call in wave 2. And let's try to build some defenses here. Build a new cannon. My teammates are also building towers here. You can see we share the resources. In this wave, there is a big enemy. We call him a shift. Chieftain is uh, stronger than the ones. He hits us harder. And they normally also have a, an extra ability. These uh, small birds are no match to us, so we'll just spawn another wave. Let's try the rocket. Well, as a host in this game, you have the uh, option to choose between friendly fire or not. Let's see if I enable friendly fire. I did, I did not. <laughs> I've turned it off. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, focus, focus on the mission. Our job is to retrieve a lost item. I'm starting to get low on health here. Might as well just teleport back to the ship, get this health buff. Stay in this circle. Just to help me heal up. Rockets, they are quite effective from long range. Okay. Last wave. Have a big guy here. With one eye. And he's even got these lumps on his body. These are weak points. If you hurt these, you will take extra damage. That's a good tip. You don't want to be standing still in these crystals. Oh no. He's confused. Let's go ahead and boost this tower. See if we can shoot him down. Oh, 
guys are coming through, damaging our ship. You can see the ship health, top end of the screen. Okay, so the boss is down to about 30% health. This should be good. Yeah, the headshot, that's important. Try to aim for his head. There. See this symbol here. Dropped. Dropped the quest item. Let's pick that up. He's just li laying on top of it. Okay. Let's head back. Okay, let's see. Now we can go to use an upgrade based on the firestone that we got from the boss. The upgrades marked in white we are able to select. Let's see, this is the increase the fuel capacity. We can get more resources from airdrops. We can get more ammunition. And increase the damage at attack. We can increase the health of the transport ship. That's, uh, I think we should uh, try to reduce construction cost. Even have some spare firestone to increase the fuel capacity. Okay, let's try to play in Jotunheim. See, take a look at the map. You see, there are two places that the aliens can come from now. So it'll be a bit more difficult to defend the ship. You see this uh, green thing here, that's uh, uranium. That will be needed for our new power options. Let's see here, this squid it deals arcane damage. So that's good if we come across a shielded enemy. Which we probably will in this uh, level. You can see in the top right corner, you can see the next wave that's full of the turrets which we defeated from the last planet. So, it should be fairly doable. Build one of each shower here. And, uh, I think we should spawn a wave. Remember that uh, the enemies will get stronger as uh, time goes on. Don't really want to wait too long. Serve uh, my bullets, I'm going uh, melee here. Maybe also helping out the guys on the other side. Okay, no more enemies. Upgrade the melee weapon damage. Now we have a break uh, before the next wave comes, so you take your time and gather all the resources you want, or you can spawn them early if you want to. Yeah, let's try to spawn. Okay, we see we got a new enemy here, and he is in fact shielded. Got a shield value of 182. Let's take a look at him here. Yeah, he's got a shield. Now, a good strategy to break the shield yourself is to go in, go with the melee damage, because the range weapon will. Suffer a penalty when uh, shooting a shielded enemy. Melee weapon. Very effective against shielded enemies. Grab these resources. Maybe help out over here. Yeah. 
build more defenses so they don't uh, get through. And I forgot to spend my energy here. That upgrade page. That is energy. Have uh, two uses for that. You can either upgrade over here, or you can use it to boost a tower. Fifteen seconds. This tower will increase its uh, fire rate, which can come in handy in situations where there's a lot of enemies and you need some extra damage. Better not to waste my bullets uh, or grenades. It's a single enemy here. Let's see how far we can shoot. Yeah, we managed to beat the uh, wave three. You see to the top right there. The next uh, wave will also. Uh, a different type of enemy. Let's just bring them out and see what they look like. These stone guys. I guess we had them in previous uh, wave as well. But. Uh, Very tanky. These chieftains, they always uh, take a lot of. And they also give you a debuff. Let's try to. See if he wants to stomp me here. Yeah, you can see I got the lightning debuff. Giving me some damage. Luckily, it doesn't last for too long. are getting to build the other side and we're good wave four out of five next wave the boss wave we will face the horse god about the Very expensive to repair towers, so that's uh, but good. Gather some more resources to build the more towers just before he shows up. Yeah, they can spawn from either location, so might want to. Save our resources and then uh, build them after it spawns. Okay, let's try. Let's try to see where he comes. Okay, so we can see the big guys coming from over there. Let's build some additional towers here then. We just hit this uh, infected area over here, so he's uh, stunned for the moment. It's good. Let's see if we can uh, take down these. Give him a boost.
if we can uh, kill off these small minions. Yeah, only the boss left on this side. Pretty good on the other side as well. Have enough resources. Yeah. I think we got enough towers to the job now. Even with this uh, lighting attacks. Getting closer to the ship. I should damage us with some lightning. shots have to go in close ah oh, we did it okay let's pick up the quest item the next one and we got promoted